All right, guys, another quick one on our high voltage battery trainer, respectively the cell balancer, which you see over here. So let's assume that the owner of the car took it to the workshop and said he has a problem with his car because he cannot go as wide as he wanna go. So let's have a check. First, what we do is we start the car and put it in ready mode. So far, so good. So then let's go for a test ride. So. We're driving now up the hill, which you see here. So we have a high load on the system and let's see what happens. What you see here now, it tells us high voltage fault. Check high voltage system, just came up before. Ah, there you see. So then we have a look at the tester. Sorry for the mirror effects here. We go to the high voltage system and let's have a look at system values cell voltage monitor and let's see what happens here and yeah you see it guys so let's have a look on the left side the left side is all good so far looks all pretty the same but when we have a look here have a look at slot three there you see now that something is very wrong with cell three First important thing to learn here, you can see this fault, so when it comes down on a faulty cell, only when there's a load on the high voltage system or on the battery. As before, when we just put the battery in ready mode, everything was okay. But now, when we drive uphill in that case, we see that we have a certain problem with slot three. So that means we have to basically open up the high voltage battery and exchange, exchange cell three. So I will do that now, disassemble everything, and then let's have a look later. And of course, what we also sh should do or will do is a fault code reading. And there you see it, what you've seen before. Now the car has recognized that fault as well. P1A30 cell error voltage low. And we already found out that this is about cell three. All right guys, I have now disassembled the high voltage battery definitely wear your ppe i think that's the most important thing what we have learned at skills usa haven't we so yeah here you see the broken cell i've just disassembled everything and here now we have the missing cell where we now need a new one so we get our battery balancer now prepared that means i have to put in the new cell and charge it to the or discharge it i don't know on which uh, charging level the cell is right now but i have to charge it to the desired level of the high voltage battery for bms1 as we see bms1 this is where the cell is missing and i've checked before with the tester the average cell voltage here and this is uh, 3.60 so i will charge it to that value basically see you in a second now I have put in the new cell, everything is now completely safe, so I can now adjust the balancer. Right now it's at 3.98 volt, that means it is too high, so we have to go now to balancing and go down to that voltage. Go for it, balancing, yes. So this will now take a while because it has to discharge the cell to the value. When everything is finished, then I just put out the cell, of course, with my PPE. I should even test it before because I don't know what has happened in between, as this can take up to one hour, for example. Then I put it back in, put the system or put every part of the high voltage battery back in place, put the system back into operation. Here you see really important the padlock, of course, without the key. So yeah, I have to take this key to my to my body when I now leave the um, leave the system, for example, because it's it's charging and it will take a while, so I can do something else in that time, and then I have to delete the fault code and go for a test ride, and the car is good to go again. So, but before we end, now I just want to show you something else. So here you have the chance to see a balancer how it's used in the real workshop. So this system comes from AVL and it's especially for the 
for an Audi or basically for um, Volkswagen, Audi, Skoda Group and so on. This system now fits perfectly to our Audi Q5 hybrid. So that means we can take out the cells from the Audi here at the back, you see it here, for example, and yeah, use these modules. So this is one module here. And we can connect that module, for example, then with the cell balancer. So that's pretty easy, basically. What you need to do is a, a lot of space. You need to connect the power supply. That's the USB connection to the computer. There you can switch it on. And now interesting to see that are basically the um, connections for high vo uh, not high voltage plus, sorry, for cell plus and for cell minus. So that's cell minus, that's cell, uh, that's cell plus. And this guy over here, you see it there, where are we? This can basically, basically establish the CAN connection. So what we did here is that we read out the voltage from the battery and put it manually into the cell balancer. But this system can work completely automatic. That means you connect it then with this, with this switch, you connect the cell module and this will establish the CAN communication. And this will yeah, lead to that all the necessary information are just transferred to the cell balancer and he knows exactly what to do. And of course, very important, you see it here, this is an infrared temperature, sorry, temperature me measurement. So you see it here now, it's a contactless basically. Little bit similar what we have of course here as well on the system. So we have here our temperature sensor. So it's an absolutely must that you measure the temperature. So I hope you liked it. Just have a quick look once on our, um, sorry for the blurry, uh, for our high voltage battery trainer with a cell balancer. And of course that you just see it, for example, how a cell balancer would look in the real workshop life, basically. Just that you can compare. So the functions are completely the same. What are you learning here? You can directly transport one-on-one -on -one to that system. It's, it's exactly the same ideas, exactly the same behavior, basically. Of course, the handling is a little bit different, but this also counts for each car. So each car is different. When you have understood one car, you also need to learn something about another car. Well, and it's the same here. So um, yeah, the few differences in the handling, but the system and the idea behind it are completely the same. Okay, guys, then have a great time. Ah, by the way, before I forget it, this is the case. So basically you need this one as well. When you take out the battery module from the car, you have to take this guy over here and put it in front of here. So it must be connected somewhere here that this system is really, or that this case is really the protection for the module basically for the charging or discharging process so for the balancing process this is exactly the same just what we have here in small with this orange cover okay but this is for now if you have questions feel free to ask have a good one